After playing with their national teams, the players are back with their clubs and these are the three most interesting things that happened in the European leagues this weekend. Great weekend for Barcelona that maintains the streak of five victories in a row this weekend against Girona by 1-4. Two goals of Lamin Yamal, another one from Olmo and another one from Pedri. Barcelona has already scored 17 goals so far this season in only five games. By the way, Olmo has scored in every single of the... By the way, Olmo has scored in every single match he's played for Barcelona so far, but bad news for the midfielder because this weekend he got injured on his right hamstring and he will be out of the field for the next five to six games. This is bad news for coach Hansi Flick because this means he will be joining the list of injured midfielders with Gavi, De Jong and also Fermin. On the side, Lamin Yamal has become a reference more every day for the team and his numbers on the field prove it. This is why Barcelona is thinking of immediately improving his contract salary-wise. And next year, when he will be turning 18, they want to renew his contract until 2030. It seems that Milan has emerged from the bottomless pitch in which they started the season winning this weekend for the first time this season against Venezia at San Siro. On 4 nil, and they managed to put the game away in just 30 minutes. Teo Hernandez, Fofana, Pulisic and Abraham scored, by the way, the first goal of the former Roma player. It seems like the rumors of the possible departure of coach Paulo Fonseca have calmed down after the results this weekend and in fact fans and the club were not very happy with the results until now. But this weekend was full of good news because also Alvaro Morata, the attacker, has come back and he is fully recovered from his injury, ready to face the next games. The first one, international with Champions League against Liverpool and this weekend against Inter in the Derby of La Madonina. How many cards can be drawn in the same match? Well, this weekend Anthony Taylor has set a new record issuing 14 cards between the Bournemouth and Chelsea players, including the coach. Chelsea won nil to one, but this game was full of controversy. The time has come to talk about the three top Latin American. Firstly, the Argentinian player Julian Álvarez, also known as the Spider, scored his first goal as a colchonero at the Civitas Metropolitano against Valencia. The team won 3-0 and he decided to celebrate this important moment, giving away his shirt to a very special fan. And now we're moving to Premier League where Aston Villa's Colombian young player John Duran scored the goal of the victory against Everton for 3-2. This is the second time so far this season the player has managed to save the team, so the fans must be very happy. And thirdly, Vinicius Jr., the Brazilian Real Madrid player, scored the first goal of the match against Betis at Santiago Bernabeu. But it was a game full of controversy because after his statements in which he said that Spain was a racist country, it's becoming each day more difficult for him to go down the field. And this is why his coach, Ancelotti, wanted to defend him. 